this is Rick Patterson. Thanks for coming to my video today. Uh, got an unusual circumstance. Uh, I'm working for an HOA, which is a homeowners association, and we were called upon to do some work in their bathhouse and uh, pool bathrooms. Uh, in particular, the boys' urinal is uh, constantly running. So the diaphragm is bad. If you'll take a look right here, this is the contraption for the boys' uh, urinal. It's got the handle, and it pressurizes. What it does, it releases the uh, pressure of the water coming in from the valve. So this is how we're going to uh, fix that. All right, so two things you're going to want is a regular uh, screwdriver and a wrench of some sort. This is what I call thumb activated. It opens like so, so I'm using my thumb. So you're going to need a, a pop wrench of some sort to open up the cap. First thing you want to do is go ahead and turn off the water supply. So the cap is removed here. And what you're going to do is just turn this water supply off. So turn it clockwise until it stops. Now the water is uh, completely turned off. Now, with the, again, with the thumb activated, it just says like so. So, to screw the cap on, we go clockwise, and we're going to go counterclockwise, and what you do is just grab a hold of the cap itself and get it started. This unscrews like so, and then you see exposure to the, the diaphragm. Now I'm going to use my uh, screwdriver one more time to lift this up and then just pull this out. All right. So this uh, diaphragm has completely failed and what we're going to do is go get a new one then put this back in. Okay so I've gone to the hardware store. Uh, the only place you can get this, uh, you can't get this in like Home Depot or Lowe's or any surplus place like that. You have to go to a specialty plumbing uh, and so there's two parts. One is the lid itself. The other part is the diaphragm itself. And this is basically just rubber here. And um, there are two styles, one with the green insert and one without. Uh, this is a 1.0, the one without is a 1.5. So um, make sure that you look at the original when you take it out. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is slip this in, all right? And when you slip it in, there's no real place to, I mean, it's nothing, no position or anything. Just put it in like so, put the cap on top of there like this, and then you go ahead and put the cap back on that you took off originally. Okay, again, we're gonna use the uh, rent and we're turning clockwise. So let's take it like so. And just make it snug. You don't have to bear down on it. And I wouldn't recommend it. Just make it snug. Okay. Then what you do is take the screwdriver and you turn it back on like so. And I'm going to open it up all the way. And it's going to pressurize, so you're going to want to hit this a couple of times. And then let it flush out as well. And then there, there you go. That's, uh, once it's pressurized, uh, it'll flush out like, like it should be. Okay, that concludes our video on how to replace a diaphragm inside of a men's urinal. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you next time. Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos and you'll see a link below. Click on it. The 1,000th person that subscribes to thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.